Good evening, folks. Blessings to you. <clears throat> We're speaking to you from uh, my quarantine cell uh, in the Cappadocian Mountains. <laughs> um, I'm here with my beautiful wife, Laurie, and my primary nurse keeper and the keeper of uh, my fever chart. So my appreciation to her. I'm I'm downstairs because Laurie's mother is tucked safely in her room, and I get to come down about, what, one hour, one hour a day, <laughs> and, uh, but I've been wonderfully cared for. We want to express to you how much we appreciate your calls of concern and text messages and um, prayers. Um, They've meant a great deal to us, and I, I, I miss you very much. I miss being uh, with you. Um, I have two favorite places to be in the world, <laughs> and one of them is this home, and the other is the church home up there. And um, I, I miss the Tuesday morning class where Mrs. Levin, Sailor, Carolyn gives me a, a sermon tidbit almost every week. Um, I miss the Wednesday copy machine, the machine that folds the bulletins going boom, 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 in the next room. And then that afternoon, um, the two and three year old classroom downstairs about two o'clock plays the most soothing kind of nap music and I, I get to close the door and I miss my meditations. <laughs> most of all, um, I miss you. I'm, I'm thankful for the work of the staff you, as a congregation, and your generosity enables us to have a staff that is so gifted, and I'm really proud of the work they're doing right now. The young people are super um, gifted and efficient at technology, and I think we have a couple of budding evangelical stars in, in Ben and, and Pete, and not to mention Peggy. On, on the keyboard, um, I'm, I'm appreciative that you enable us to have a group of people like that. I um, remember from Hurricane Katrina, uh, the response of our church in the community and the, and the response of the church uh, throughout the uh, Mississippi coast and into New Orleans. And I was interviewed somewhere, and I made the point that um, it's in times of struggle and difficulty that the church, its symbols mean the most. And that is that there is always goodness that comes out of struggle, and God is always present in that. And um, that's been present in the way that, that y'all have reached out to us. It makes a difference in our lives. And and uh, it's been present in the way that I see the community reaching out into the world, and it offers promise and hope, uh, and, it, and it's meant a great deal to us. The other thing I want to say is a number of our uh, folks in the congregation work in the medical profession, and I'm so proud and appreciative of the work that you're doing now and the selflessness of it, uh, as well as other frontline responders that are out there um, when, when the rest of us are quarantined, uh, uh, keeping us safe and keeping things moving and providing opportunities uh, for healing where they need to take place. I think we're, we are, um, I, I have been ill a little bit. <clears throat> uh, I have not had the symptoms that many folks have, not nearly as bad as other folks have had. Um, I think that I'm probably quarantined one more week. I believe I'll be back at, uh, around uh, on next Monday, um, or Monday of the week, and um, in the meantime, we appreciate your love and, and your prayers. So I wanted to, um, you got anything you want to say? <laughs> I, 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 I want to I say a little prayer that uh, comes from a book entitled Every Moment is Holy, and this has all kinds of magnificent prayers for um, different occasions, everything from 
a picnic to changing diapers, changing diapers to the washing of dishes. It's sort of a, a monastic guide to joy and everything. And uh, one of these uh, prayers is written for a doctor or a nurse or a, a medical caretaker. And, and it goes, uh, I'd like to read that. Um, and may it be in all of our hearts uh, as we seek to what Camus was saying was every one of us wants to heal. I mean, I, I imagine you're out there and there are things that you would like to do on a large scale, but we can do them in our homes. We can do them by reaching out to others. We can do them with a phone call. The text messages that you have sent to us mean so much that uh, this, this was a meaningful prayer. <clears throat> I would not just be a doctor or a nurse or a medical provider of that. I would be a minister of your healing and compassionate work in the world. I would be a, a living witness of your love expressed in practical care of people. And I would be your disciple in this place at this time among these people. So give grace, Lord Christ. Give me, give us grace this day and all days that we might serve you well by loving and serving others in this healing work that we do ever laboring in view of that day when your kingdom will be fully realized at the great mending of the world, at the great ending of all of this. Let me, let us play a small part in that great work. Amen. I love you, God bless you, and um, I'll probably visit with you another time or two uh, before I'm back in the chair, <laughs> the saddle on Monday. Thank you, Lord, for taking such good care of me. Love you. Love you.